Hello everybody. Uh, made this short video to show you my uh, Lego F14D mo uh, Tomcat model. I'm pretty proud of this. It has over 40 points for articulation. Basically anything that moves on the real plane uh, moves on the model. I'll show you some of the features here real quick. Uh, first, of course, is the all-important swing wing. Uh, I've got it to function correctly, so when one moves, the other one moves. It's actually accomplished fairly easily. You can see inside of there, but as you move the wing, the uh, mechanism under slides connected to the other one. So that was actually very easy to to actually build. I was actually surprised how easy that one was. Uh, if we down here, uh, other rear control surfaces, uh, both the elevators work, of course. Uh, both rudders work. If we can get just a little lower here, tail hook and both air brakes also work. Uh, that's the upper air brake there. Two lower ones, and of course, the tail hook comes down. Show you underneath the airplane. It has a full weapons load, uh, Phoenix missiles, Sparrow, Sidewinder, uh, front landing gear, and the intakes uh, uh, operate, of course, uh, inside the varial intake ramps are fully functional, and the front landing gear doesn't pull up exactly like the real plane does. Uh, the fuselages on this is only so wide I can't put them in there that way, but uh, rotate that and both doors do fully enclose it like, like so. Now the hardest part was the, uh, the main landing gear. Is actually kind of difficult. It took me a couple weeks actually. I built this on Lego Digital Designer and they only have so many parts that you can use so to make this work correctly it was actually pretty difficult. Uh, Lego 14 main landing gear as it folds forward it rotates 90 degree to lie flat inside the wheel well. This model is kind of tight so it's kind of hard to uh, get the wheel to rotate to lay flat, but it does fit with relatively minor problem. Then all the landing gear door closes. And so it fully encloses it. It's actually a little bit harder to get out than it is to put in. It takes a little, a little extra time and a long tool of some type to kind of lift it and rotate at the same time without tearing the model apart. Like so. There it comes out. A little bit more. <laughs> Here it comes. And it rotates back out again. Anyway, it does fit. Now the only part of the model that was fairly diff that I haven't really finished, haven't quite figured it out yet, is the canopy. On the real airplane, the whole canopy piece from the windscreen back opened up. But since I kind of have a personal rule I want to use only Lego parts only, uh, I want the, the canopy to fit the profile correctly and it has to fit minifigs in it. Uh, trying to find the parts to make it actually work, uh, I haven't really found it yet. I haven't quite figured it out. The rear one opens up, the front one opens up totally wrong, of course. Real, real, the real canopy actually continues all the way to the front part of the windscreen here, 
which stays on the plane and that part opens up completely but I can't find any Lego parts to make that work. I've seen other people make their own canopies but I'm not really into that. If anybody knows any other way to, to make that work I'd really like to hear from you. I haven't quite figured it out yet but hopefully uh, somebody will give me some information on that. Anyway there it is. Uh, uh, thank you for your time. Uh, any more if you want to see any more pics, go to MOC pages. Uh, I'll have the link down below here. And uh, leave comments and tell me what you think. If you have any suggestions, I appreciate it. Uh, thanks for your time. Uh, have a good day.